as the first frost bites the trees green, morning light shatters on the forest top, and the winter country looks so very golden. People are often under the impression that winter is the season within which we farmers sit back in front of a fire with a glass of wine to relax. Well, that might be true with the fellows who live in the northeast, but not in this part of China, where winters are cold enough to kill most of the insects and the microlifes, but not cold enough to stop farmers from laboring themselves in the field. In fact, to me, winter has been the most eventful season of the year. Plowing, for instance, is the hardest work around the year. What makes it particularly difficult is that my vineyards are all on sloping terrain making it impossible to engage machinery, as the Americans would in California, or to drive a horse through the vines, as people might in France today. My fields are so steep that only by the delicate human feet and hands can the labor be gently done. As a result, things are not so very different today than what they were hundreds of years ago. As the bees retired to their winter mode, the cellar has gone silent, with my vintage of the 2022 settling quietly underground in this earth-covered cavalry. One fact people easily ignore is that many varietals of the grapevine, other than the famous, for example, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Pinot Noir, are also created by God from winemaking. The varietal grown here is one which thrives in summers of heat and humidity, the fatal combination of which kills all European species, thus rendering this country the barren land for wine. Of course, that is to say, until this local varietal was discovered some 30 years ago. because it is so insignificant in the world of viticulture. Only rudimentary research has been carried out nonchalantly by some local universities that knowledge is scarce, ambitions are vast. Every local farmer like myself thinks himself qualified to have a go with new adventures.
Over the years, I found out that some of these subvarietals tend to have different levels of sugar content and acidity. For the sake of curiosity, I have been constantly developing new baby plants designated to small plots of the vineyard, forming a landscape quite similar to the French concept of the cru in Burgundy. Sunny winter days in the mountains are like paradise with camellia flowers. Farmers, entouraged by their dogs, prancing forward on the forest road, light-hearted and gay. However, it might then suddenly turn bad, firstly a round of icy cold rain, and then overnight the snow covers all. A snowy day is always a good day to open one of the caveri and see how the wine is settling down at this stage and how it tastes now. We have decided to bottle the wine from that caveri before its time, which would have been sometime in next spring or summer or even in a year time. But since we are in China, it's always expected of a farmer to showcase his year's work to friends and relatives before the Chinese New Year. And in my case, a bottle of the vintage 2022 would be my answer to all the support and good wishes people have lavished on me and my wife during this year. Mm -hmm. 